Hey guys, Yarek here and welcome to Amberscape. And yesterday something very special arrived in my mailbox and it's something I didn't get before. And yeah, <laughs> it is a piece of Baltic Amber from the Cretaceous period. So it's Burmese Amber. And what matters is not the Amber itself, but what's inside. Let's go and take a look, guys. So yeah, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of equipment on my desk. That's because this piece is already polished. Let's inspect it a bit. So first, let's inspect it from this nice display box. As you can see, the piece is really thin, but <laughs> I said it's something special inside. And when looking at this piece, you can't see anything, right? So what's up? Can you see a glimpse of it? A little bit? In the bottom left area and from this side. Now it's in the right area. Can you spot it? <laughs> super, super tiny arachnid. It's a pseudoscorpion, guys. Let's remove it from this box and see it a little bit better, guys. And so yeah, let's open this piece, guys, and let's inspect it without the box. What can I say, guys? This piece looks very interesting and whoever polished this piece, I mean not polished, but whoever cut this piece did a splendid job, it's, it's perfect. Uh, I can explain why the, why the shape is like this, I mean, why it's so thin, because the pseudoscorpion inside is super super tiny and whoever cut this piece wanted to see the pseudoscorpion from both sides, that's why the piece is so thin. And what we are going to do today, guys, we are going to repolish the piece and do some photos to see in what condition the pseudoscorpion is. Because if it's in good condition, then it's like, it's quite expensive piece. I did pay a reasonable amount for it myself and uh, only after making photos I will see was it worth it or did it. Wow, it's so thin. But it shines blue, that's crazy. I mean, it's not him that uh, the ultraviolet light shines just through it. <laughs> Very cool looking. So, yeah, guys, let's repolish the piece and let's try to make some photos. So I want to repolish it as soon as possible, guys, <laughs> because I'm re really itchy to see the condition of this Saldo Scorpion. So let's just go ahead, guys. Let's shake it. Should be sufficient i was polishing this piece for like 10 minutes on each side so like 20 minutes in total uh, when we, when it will rest for five minutes i will wipe it clean with fresh microfiber and to make sure that on that microfiber there is no dust so it will polish even nicer uh, when i will wipe it so yeah and while it's rest resting i wanted to ramble a bit about the ember from myanmar it was dated by scientists to be from the Cretaceous era, and to be exact, 99 million years old. And that's kind of mind-blowing, because 99 million years old is like, it's a time when still the dinosaurs existed and was roaming the earth and forest and everywhere, and this pseudoscorpion, which is still hoping to be in nice condition, we will see in a while, it was living amongst them. 
so that just blows my mind even more. And I'm so happy to acquire this piece. And it's my first Saudi Scorpion also. Also, whoever cut this piece, it was like a grandmaster, it's like excellent job. And this shape and how thin it is, it gives me ideas for myself when I will be cutting amber by myself, and probably the Baltic one, that's because I have good access to the Baltic amber. And I will try to make a better job at cutting the amber in the future. And the problem with something rare in them, like something like pseudoscorpions, is that every single piece that has something rare in them, they are already cut and polished. And it's very hard to acquire uh, something rare in the raw piece. Like I'm still trying so hard to find something rare to cut for the video and <laughs> it's so hard to find something rare. So yeah guys, uh, enough rambling, let's wait a few more minutes and wipe this, uh, this clean. And so five minutes did pass and I took fresh microfiber. So let's open it up. And use it to wipe our amber clean. And there we go, this is freshly repolished piece. How polished it is? It's quite polished, alright. <laughs> and now we should be able to acquire quite a good pictures, I hope. So let's go ahead and do it that guys. And now I came to the point when I can finally make some photos, but it's also not a piece of cake guys. <laughs> there is a lot of hassles involved in the process of taking pictures. Either the angle of amber is wrong, or there is not enough light, or the light is facing from a wrong direction. So I try to elevate a little bit on the piece of plastiline with this amber and try to make photos then. And even then, Physically for me it's impossible to get any closer look on this specimen because uh, my lens has not enough magnification for it So I'm kind of limited by my uh, equipment to good make some good po pictures And this picture is the absolute best I could do at this time with this equipment It's still a nice pseudo scorpion I think it's in very good condition from one side and from other side there is some sort of cloudiness in there And these pictures were taken with not enough light, so we can see the we can't see any details. The piece weights relatively three grams. This last photo doesn't belong to me; it was produced by the seller. And about the pseudo scorpions, they are not extinct; they are still alive today. They come in many shapes and colors, and are really funny looking, very tiny creatures. So yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it and did like my Pseudo Scorpion. This is my best piece in my collection by far. So yeah guys, see you next time and bye!